today we will be talking about the circulatory system. What is the circulatory system? The circulatory system in human is the combined function of the heart, blood, and blood vessels to transport oxygen, nutrients, and oxygen to organs and tissues all over the body. And it also carries waste products. The main parts of the circulatory system are blood, blood vessels, and heart. The blood is con the blood is the red like the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Blood vessels are arteries, capillaries, and veins. The heart is made up of cardiac muscles. This is a diagram showing the blood. Plasma. Plasma is the liquid part of the blood. It consists of water and salt. It is also it also contains other small molecules including vitamins and minerals and also waste products. Plasma is known to be yellow in color due to the proteins that are dissolved into it. We have blood cells. Red blood cells make up 45% of the volume of our blood. The main function of the red blood cell is to carry oxygen from the lungs to every cell in our body. Red blood cells are composed mostly of protein and iron compound called hemoglobin. Our red blood cells have a biconcave shape. This gives them a much larger surface area. Because the surface area is large or larger than any other blood cells, they, have, they can carry more oxygen. White blood cells. There are two main types of white blood cells called phagocytes and lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are responsible for the production of antibodies, which produce in response to fight against infections. Phagocytes, they engulf bacteria and are responsible for the removal of dead cells from the blood. Lymphocytes, so you have T lymphocytes, are specialized white cells that identify and destroy invading organisms such as bacteria and viruses. Some T lymphocytes directly destroy invading organisms, whereas other T lymphocytes regulate the immune system by directing immune responses. What are arteries? Arches ca carry blood away from the heart. All arches carry oxygenated blood with the exception of the pulmonary artery. Arches have a thick elastic material arterial wall. Arch all arches have a thick elastic arterial wall that can withstand the pressure of blood flowing away from the heart. Differences between arteries and veins. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart except the pulmonary artery. They lie mostly deeply in the body. They are thick walled, highly muscular, except arteries from the cranium and vertebral column. Valves are not present in arteries. They are reddish in color. They sh the blood in the arteries move with pressure. Arteries empty up at the time of death. If arterial wall is injured, the blood comes out like a fountain in a large area 
all around the arteries. Veins carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart except the pulmonary veins. They are thin walls. They, they possess wide lumen while the arteries possess a narrow lumen. Veins carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart with an exception of the pulmonary veins. They lie deep in location. They are thin walled. They possess wide lumen while the, while the arteries possess narrow lumen. They are bluish in color. Valves are present which provide the unidirectional flow of blood. Veins get filled up at the time of death. Blood in arches move under very low pressure. Capillaries are only one cell thick. This is ideal since substances like oxygen and glucose must pass out and carbon dioxide must move in. The human heart the human heart is a muscular pump that pushes blood around the body. It is made up of a type of muscle known as the cardiac muscle.